All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a quick live video I'm posting uh, to show you how to use Clever, uh, as well as some uh, things I'm expecting you to understand um, on Edsby, okay? So we're first uh, gonna begin um, with um, Clever, okay? Clever is the online resource to access your virtual e-text. Uh, so I'm going to show you step by step on the screen here how to access the online uh, virtual e-text through that website, uh, Clever. If um, you are in my government class, this is extremely pertinent information for you uh, because this is how we're going to access the online textbook. As you know, we use the textbook from time to time in class and the expectation is the same um, even though we're meeting virtually. For my other two classes, um, this doesn't necessarily pertain to you as much for uh, my classes, but I can guarantee you most of your teachers, if not all of your teachers in core classes, will be using Clever. So if you're unfamiliar with the website and the system, now's a chance to watch this video and, and make sure we understand how to do that. All right. First thing we're going to go uh, do is go to clever.com. There's also an app you can download on your phone. Okay. And when you go to clever.com, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, Log in as a student. Obviously, that's what you'll click. I'm going to click the teacher one, but the information is the same. From there, you're going to get a um, prompt to type in your login information. Your login information, listen carefully to this, is your uh, student ID, the same information you use to log in to Edsby and any other online resource. Okay, I'm going to go back to the YouTube page just to make sure what I'm showing you is uh, being seen. Uh, yep, okay. So once you've logged in, mine automatically logged in for me because I've been on here before. You'll see something that should look similar to this. And you're going to scroll down, it's about midway through the page, to Pearson Realize. That's this video right here, or this icon right here, excuse me. Uh, this only is specific to my class. I can't guarantee that your other classes use Pearson Realize, though most of them do. So I would recommend if you're unsure, that's probably the first place you want to go, regardless of what class you're using Clever for. Okay. When you click on Pearson Realize, it's going to load up to the virtual textbook. I know everything's been really slow in terms of internet connection and loading because so many people are using it um, these days, but just got to bear with it. Okay. And then you'll have a list of your classes, just like I have here, and you'll click the US government. Magruder's American Government Florida link, and that's going to open up a new page to the Realize website. And really all you have to worry about is the one that has a picture of the copy of the book's uh, cover right there, American Government for Florida. It will load, so you click that. And then you'll have a whole bunch of stuff here, uh, topics, sections, all that. I wouldn't worry about that stuff. I would just worry for my class anyways, in particular, the e-text. So at the very top of the screen here, the uh, e-text tab. And then you're going to you're not going to have the option for the teacher's edition. So all you'll have is this. You click that. You click open a new window. It may ask you to download some kind of Flash or Adobe player. So if so, just say yes. It takes two seconds. And then here it is. Now, some people have gotten tripped up here because you think, okay, what is this? It doesn't really clearly tell you how to turn the page or page numbers. So what you want to do is click the menu tab in the upper right-hand corner. You want to click table of contents. And then from here, you have all the different topics, okay? So if you guys remember, we were on unit four right before spring break talking about the legislative branch. And then we're going to also, during this e-learning period, be on unit five, the executive branch. So let's say... Um, I, you want to find some more information about the legislative branch. Okay, when you click the drop down menu, you'll have six different lessons. And literally, you just click one, and it will open up the text virtually to that page in the textbook. And you can now scroll through. There's all the vocab terms. And if you notice, some of these are the same exact ones we had on. Our vocab page. So if you're having a hard time finding vocab terms as one of our assignments, you can literally go here to the first page of that section and it gives you the definition right there. So that's really helpful. Um, and then you can just click next, go page by page in this section. So sometimes it's a little slower than others. Here's the role of Congress. Click next. 
Now, I'm not saying you necessarily have to do this for every single activity. Um, remember we talked about legislator, committees, serve the constituents, things like that. This is stuff we've already talked about, so this should look familiar. Remember talking about delegate, trustee, partisan, politico, okay? Um, I'm not saying you have to access this every single day for every assignment. This is more just an additional resource, especially useful for, let me just show you this lesson, lesson two. Um, it's especially useful for the vocab. So right here, reapportion, apportion, those are vocab terms, gerrymandering. You can literally click on it and get the vocab term that easily. If you're having a hard time finding that through the PowerPoints or having a, uh, you know, need more, a deeper understanding of stuff, this is another resource for that, okay? I may, from time to time, tell you to go to specific assignments, and I'll tell you specifically what topic, what lesson, and what page on that lesson to find that information, um, just on a case-by-case -case basis, okay? Um, again, if, if, if you don't necessarily need this for government, um, this same exact process of going from Clever to Pearson to textbook you want to Pearson Realize, Open a New Window, is pretty much the same for all the classes for the most part. Um, so that is, um, how we are going to use clever. Okay. Um, remember if I really encourage you to watch the expectations for e-learning stream I did earlier in the week, uh, that explains exactly what I'm looking for every day in terms of, um, PowerPoints, watching the YouTube videos for the lectures and other additional assignments. Um, this is just, uh, another resource at your disposal. Okay. The second thing I want to point out, this is for all my classes is a couple tips of what I want you to look for on Edsby, okay? So the big thing every day when you log into Edsby, it's very important you look, I believe it looks the same for you guys, on the left-hand side, if it's not on the left-hand side, it will be on the top right here, but it might be here as well, it just depends what your browser looks like, um, for pinned items, so right here, pinned items. And up here is where I'm gonna post very important things that you really need to click on, they're of the utmost importance. I may post some other things. I won't pin them. That means maybe they're just optional or they're um, not as uh, important to be clicked on that very day. Okay, so right now I have the expectation for e-learning, probably the most important video I've posted, about 23 minutes long, uh, that talks about what I'm actually expecting you to do these next few weeks, okay? The second thing I pinned yesterday is a poll. The poll is very important going forward on Monday because it is going to be how I take attendance. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. I'm going to post a video about this. The expectation is that we are taking attendance every day. Now, that does not mean, this is just my opinion, that you need to work on my specific class every single day. You may be able to do a different class each day. You may be able to work ahead. You may be able to work different hours. Um, it doesn't matter to me as long as you get the work done when it's supposed to be done. That's your uh, discretion. But it is the expectation of our school that you check every page every day. So I'll be posting a poll every single day. And on the poll, I can actually click show votes and I can see who participated in the poll. This is my way of taking attendance. OK, so this poll is going to be up for the entire week. This tells me for the week of what we called set up for success um, until the 27th that you got on at least one time and have access to all this stuff and you're prepared to begin learning next week. So if I see your name, I know you got on. If I don't see your name, I have no way of knowing necessarily that you actually logged on and had access to this page. OK. Starting on Monday, I'm gonna post a different poll every day. So your number one task, basically every day at some point, go onto my page, read the poll, respond to it so I can mark you as present. We'll talk more about why that's important tomorrow, but it would always be a pinned item. So just make sure you check the pinned items every single day. Make sure you know what you're on task um, to do and, and make sure you know when stuff is due. At that point, this is my personal opinion, I don't care when you actually do the assignments as long as you get them done when they're due. Um, if you wanna work ahead or do different things for different days, that's your discretion, that's totally fine. Um, that's, just my, that's just my expectation. You may have other teachers that want you to do something every day and please respect what they want you to do, okay? Um, the second thing you want to just check on Edsby is the, it looks like almost like a Facebook page or social media page, any kind of updates or posts I made, and you can scroll through. There's my face right there, right? Um, I also will post quizzes starting next week. We'll talk about that when the time comes. They will show up in your feed as well, okay? So those are the two things I just want to tell you guys about, give you a little more clarification. I had some questions 
um, about that. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to message me on Edsby, email me, let me know what you're struggling with, and I'll try my best to help you, okay? Um, so that's it for this video. I'll have another video uh, tomorrow um, about the, uh, it's going to be a final update about my expectations for this e-learning period. And then next week, I'll have content-related videos regarding either government, Holocaust, or African-American history, okay? So uh, just be looking out for those. Like and subscribe uh, if uh, you want updates straight to the YouTube channel instead of worrying about seeing these links through SP. okay? Um, have a good one. We'll see you virtually tomorrow. Bye-bye.